So I'm hoping that you all have a piece of paper and a pencil ready for you. And then what I want you to do now is take a minute or two and write down the aim of your research using only one of these four words, explore, explain, develop, or describe. And I'll give you four examples and you can just replace. So Buxa, yours could be very interesting. Explain students and lecturers use um, of whatever or explore the communication pattern. So here are four questions. The, can you see that the, the title of my thesis is the same in every time, which is the, an, uh, no, which is just the use of WhatsApp in teaching and learning. That's all. So that's my, 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 the title of my thesis, the use of WhatsApp in teaching and learning. And I can do any of those four or all of those four, but I want you to select the one that is tightest in explaining your own research. So take about five minutes and tell me whether you're, which, and, and write your whole research in one of those. One to develop a model for the use of blockchain in higher education. Okay, I like that. And to develop a strategy for a new office design and interaction between traditional office and home office. To explain how lectures can develop quality assessments for remote or online students to maintain academic input. Explore the usage patterns of students' engagement on Blackboard during emergency remote learning. Ooh, I love that. To do is to ask you to take a an epistemological stand. Remember when we spoke about epistemology yesterday? Um, we said that you could get a positivist epistemology, which means we're saying the answer is yes, no, it lives outside, it's out there, and my job is just to look for it. And then we could have an anti-positivist epistemology where we say the truth only exists in my head. Um, it, is at a, it is subjective, there can be more than one truth, more than one person, and then I'm anti-positivist. So what I'd like you to do is to take a stand, whether you are A or whether you are B. I'm going to give you one minute to make that choice. So the next one I want to do is the, so that the first one we had now, the A was the aim. Now we've looked at your belief, whether you believe things to be completely true always, or whether you believe something to be, it depends. So that's the belief. The next one I want to, us to look at is your concern. And so is your concern to understanding abstract concepts, which means that if you're understanding abstract concepts, nothing will change, but we'll know a whole lot more about them. So I'm not actually going to intervene at all. I'm just going to look at the situation as it is and make the connections. That's this one. Other one is, I hope to make something a little better. Yes, I know there's chaos, but if at least we wear masks, then we'll bring it one level safer. And if we do social distancing, we might make it two levels safer. So I'm actually going to intervene, make people wear masks, and measure if fewer of them get sick. So I'm actually going to... In so what I'd like you to do now is, again, just type in the box, I know you're with me, X and X or Y. So here is what the thing looks like. If you're an A and an X, then you put yourself in there. Then you make a tick in the box there. So draw yourself this quadrangle, at least the, 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 the Cartesian plane, and then just tick a, put a tick where you are. You're gonna work with abstract conflict. So if you are X, B, then you are there. If you are, um, y b you are and if you're y a you put your tick there okay i'm guessing that i don't have to wait for you to tell me you've done that i'm going to continue you will by now have been able to drip all four quadrants and now i'm going to explain to you what happens in each one of those four quadrants so if you were explore then you would have been a x 
if you want to explain, you would have been a why. Why? If you are into describing, you would have been a <laughs> at least X, B. And if you are into developing, it would have been Y, B. Prof, All right. can I uh, just interject yes. here? Just quickly. Yes. I'm correct there. Yes. Um, with explain, but yeah. if you look at my question, explain how lectures can develop. Is that permitted? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so okay. that's why I said to you, so, yeah, we okay. need to have a look. <laughs> you need to go and rewrite your, you need to rewrite your lesson statement. <laughs> and you yes, need to okay. use the word develop. Now do you see okay. the value of this yes. tool? Yes. The value okay. of this tool, David, is to make sure that your research is um, grammatical, if you like. Yes. Okay. So, Bacha, yours is very easy. You need to change your verb to explore because you are quite clearly not going to intervene and you are quite clearly going to look for an, a better understanding of things. So... It is explore. You are an explore. Just believe me, you're an explore. So whatever you've written, rewrite it to being explore. So there's a little poem by Rudyard Kipling that says, I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. What and why and when and how and where and who. Now, two have already been answered. The where is called the context of your research. So Baksha's content, context of her research, real estate program of CPUT, distance and contact. That's the where. The who is Baksha as researcher and the students and maybe lecturers as participants. So the where and the who have already been answered in this model. Now we need to plot what, why, when and how. And so I need you to be fast with um, fastest finger first in the chat box to answer the questions I'm going to ask you now. If we are dealing with abstract concepts, so just make a note for yourself, the questions that we're dealing with now is what, why, how, and when. Just jot down what, why, how, and when. If we're dealing with abstract concepts, so I have a piece of abstract art in my living room. It is, it is a very large painting. And there's nothing really decipherable about it. It's abstract art. So people walk into my living room. What is the first thing they ask when they see that painting? Most of them actually just ask, what is that? And the question for that is what? Now, if we make concrete rules, what is the first question people ask you? So your mommy says, you must be home by 11. What is the question you ask? Why must I be home? Why? So for concrete rules, the question we ask is why? Now, if the answer is going to be, it depends. We have two questions left. Why, uh, when, and how? If somebody says to us, we can have more, um, people, we can have more if we have a if we have a room with at least if we have an, a hotel with infants, um, we can still be one room short. What do we what do we ask then? Between we've got how and when. Can't ask why this time. Question again, sir. Okay, I like butchers, which is how will this help us? But that, and, and it's more or less what I'm asking. It is actually, how can this happen? How can this be? Or how is it possible? Absolutely. So if the answer is it depends, we're asking, it depends on what? How does this happen? How can this be? So we're asking mm. for some sort of activity in this case. Now, the next one is, if somebody... Or if you're going to buy some tea and you want them and you want to know how much tea they actually want, whether they're going to have milk or not, what is it that you say to them? What pouring and you say? 
exactly say when mm -hmm. so then such questions mapped onto our research um what's the word i'm looking for we have our research question mapped onto our research aim so if my aim is to explore then my question is and how so let me and i'm going to give that i'm going to show you all the examples now because you have to now make a note butcher you've got to write and how uh um david you've got yes. to write how, how and why um somebody who's going to develop is um i think it's uh digi you're going to write why and when and i'm going to give you a whole lot of examples so that my whatsapp experiment again and then i want you to type your two questions into the text box when you're done so we can have a look at them so i want you to then say to me your aim which is just explore and then your two questions so that we so that we know what they are into the text box fastest finger first and here are the examples then okay i love this i love this baksha baksha this is so doable i mean this is now brilliant what are the elements that promote learner engagement in emergency remote learn learning and then how do learner demographics relate to literally each element of learner engagement and so in your literature survey you're going to read about all those elements you're going to put the elements down and the, on the on the um y axis or on the on the what's it called vertical on the vertical you're going to put all those elements that you get out of the literature and then on the horizontal you're going to put the demographics that you're looking at age wealth blah 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 and now you know exactly what you're going to test against what you go to your statistician and you're going to go to your statistician and say um test column um uh, yeah test column a against column b now test column a against column c now test column a against column d you're going to test them across all of them and then you're going to ask them to do to run one of those multivariate things you look at where where do things jump out and and it's done so you know you can do it next weekend i i guess brilliant well done baksha yes, why do students to come to ah oh, yeah that's right why do students cheat during exams how do you use how do lecturers use the sessions yes. counter that Okay. Um, David, it. David, can I ask you a question, please? Excuse yes. me for, for just butting in. Can I ask yes. you a quick question? Um, for your first, for your first one, wouldn't you rather, instead of saying explain how lecturers use effective assessments, rather say because you still want to know from the lecturer's point of view, so they've got to drive how it's going to be used. So yes. explain how lecturers use assessments to effectively counter cheating. Hmm. Okay, I've given there, um, yes, and I've taken out the effectiveness for exactly the. Oh, uh, okay. Is saying that because you're begging the question. Okay, yes. Why okay. do students cheat the exam? Cheat. How do lecturers use assessment okay. to prevent cheating? Mm, cheating. Ah. Okay. So here's just some examples that you might want to maybe just capture the screen quickly for yourselves. I should have had this one open. while you were doing ladies and gentlemen i'm going to stop there